Welcome to this video on how to create Java programs that will run on somebody else's machine. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video we're going to explore how to turn that wonderful Java program that you've created and now runs in the command prompt window into something the user can just double click on and run without having to know all the other technical bits in between. I've got a program here called Days Between. It would be nice if I could allow other people to have that. And we're going to create something called a JAR file, a Java archive. Now these files are quite convenient because they keep all the bits and pieces together, all the graphics and the sound and the code and everything. It also allows you to make things easy for the user. So there's the ease of use. The user can just double click on the icon they're relatively small because everything is compressed and they can help security because they help with the digital signing which is a topic that's a bit outside the scope of this video but you'll come across in later computing courses so let's go about opening the command prompt window And now that we've got the command prompt window, I can go to the correct drive. From there, I can change to the Java demo directory. And we're in. The first thing I'll need to do is to compile my program. And I do that using Javac, exactly the same as before. So Javac star dot Java. And that means take any Java program here and compile it. And that's useful if you've got several classes at once. Now it looks as if I've only got one class here. But in fact Days Between contains two. There's an auxiliary class tucked away at the bottom. When I press enter you'll see that I've got a Days Between class and a My Date class. That's quite good. I've got everything I need. Now I need to create the Java archive. For that I type in jar and then I need CFE compile with an entry point. What I want this Java jar file to be called so we'll call it DB short for days between dot jar. It needs to know which class to use first. Which is the one that contains the main? Well that's days between and I need it to take all the classes. A star means all of. Now if I do that I get the db.jar and that's a good place to be. Now I can run that program from here so I can say Java minus jar db dot jar and that opens the window for the program. Here is a program running straight from the uh, command prompt window but that's not really what we want. What would be nice is being able to just double click on it. Unfortunately if I double click on it nothing happens. Not a lot anyway. Not a lot that's useful. If you need to uh, get a problem sorted in computing cheat intelligently. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to create something called a command file which is a way of putting commands into the operating system directly without it doing anything clever. For that I need a text editor. Here is a text editor and in there I'm just going to type in the command that I typed in just now to get the program to run. So java minus jar db dot jar. That was the command I just typed in and I'm going to save that as db.cmd 
CMD is short for a command program. Now if I save that, go back to my directory, there's DB command and I can run that from here. As you can see I can now double click on DB command and it does it but it makes this large window here and that's not quite what we wanted. Also it'd be nice to be able to put it on the user's desktop. So what we're going to do is right click on it, go to send to and desktop. It's now sent it to the desktop but that's not very nice. The user isn't going to associate a couple of cogs with this wonderful program that calculates the days between two dates. So I'm going to right click on it and go to properties. In properties I want the shortcut window and there I'm going to go to the change icon. So it says it hasn't got an icon at the moment, but we knew that. So click on OK and then I can choose something appropriate. So since this might be something to do with say the family tree, I'm going to choose a tree icon. Click on OK. I can also change the size of that command window. I'm going to have it as one by one by one by one and I'm going to apply that. Click on OK and now I have my program opening up. Yes there's a small window up here and that's the subject of something that we'll be doing far later on. But at the moment as you can see my program works.